Hi crafty friends, it's Scrapping Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? I figure we do a uh, whip and chat, work in progress, because it's been a while. And uh, so get comfortable, guys. All right, so let's see. I am actually working on Talisman, or Talisman. Uh, she's from Diamond Art Club, and she is 20 inches by 26 inches and 51 centimeters by 66 centimeters and she the artist is Anne Julie Aubrey from Diamond Art Club and so far guys I am loving this this painting um I'm actually working well my friend and I were talking and I said hey I'm gonna work on this one next and she said hey I have talisman so she decided to do it and then also Becky is working on it also and also another lady that's actually uh, my friend's sister is working on it. So, yeah, that's fun. Anyway, so, I don't know. There's something about this painting that, I don't know if it's the colors or just looking forward to doing the flowers. And But it's like you start doing it and you just want to continue. And uh, anyway. Okay, so I'm using, as you can see, I have the Muni Made cover minders. Except this one. This one is actually just a magnet that I got, um, I think at Hobby Lobby. And then this pen, I cannot remember where I bought it, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it. It's not heavy and it's not light, it's just like in between, but it's just perfect. And then I also use this one, just so I can use the, the uh, straightener. And then of course I have the Diamond Art Club tweezers, just in case. This is where I keep my, um, my wax okay sometimes i use the wax and sometimes i use the putty or the mini glue dots and this is a i believe it's a bill of art the nicole uh tray and then i've got my little garbage can this is i believe from, uh from crash with crash crashly um uh, i can't remember my crafts with crashly is it um, I think I bought that and then I think this cover minder is from Scarlet's Little Corner. So I just put it there to decorate it. Okay. And you could actually, because this is a magnet, you could see it sticks to that, which is perfect because it won't move. All right. So, oops, see how strong that is? Wow, that is strong, guys. Got an extra little magnet there. All right, and I think that's about it. So, as you can see, uh, I already started doing with the flower here, and the flower actually has two ABs. So it's got uh, AB uh, 132, which is this one. It's like a light orange, and then this one's 123, and it's a darker orange. So it's exciting when you work with the ABs. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Anyway, and then also the release paper, and I actually have kept the plastic also this time. So what I do is after I finish, I put the release paper and then I just put, it's just for extra protection, I'll put the release paper. My friend told me I should try that and I, so far I'm liking it. So the, the release paper is actually called Blue Snowflakes by uh, Crafts with Crashly. And I am loving these release papers, guys. All right, so let us begin. How did everyone spend uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve? Uh, let's see, I'm going to move this a little bit over here so I can work here. I'm just going to slide this a little bit more. Oh, and by the way, I'm using uh, the Elizabeth Warden. And this is where I keep, and I'm actually, I have an easel in front of me, a small easel. And that's where I place this on the easel. And then they're right there in front of me. Easy access. Okay, so I'm liking that too. This is something new that I'm doing. <laughs> And my goal, guys, is, well, you know that I take forever to work on a diamond painting. And I cannot believe it that it took me almost 10 months, and there goes a squirrel, uh, almost 10 months just to do one huge painting. And that was the one from Heaven and Earth Designs. So this year, my goal is to try to do two paintings per month. Yes, guys, two paintings. So... I'm trying to finish this one. I actually started this one December 22nd. So I should be, it should be finished by before, uh, well, let's just say the, the end of the of January. So make it a month. It's a little bit more than a month, but it okay. it's okay. Um, and of course, I'm already behind. My friends are like all the way up here and I'm left behind with the uh, dust bunnies. 
But then again, uh, I only single place and I did have family over, you know, for Christmas. So family always comes first, guys. Okay, so let's move this. Like I said, this is just a regular cover, not a cover minder. It's just a regular magnet. It came in a package of four beautiful hearts. And, uh, and since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I said, why not? It's very pretty. It's just decorative, if you think about it. All right, let's move that over there. See, there you go. Let's see, let's work with this section here. And I'm seeing a glare, so I'm not sure if it's, if it's this or if it's this. I have no idea. I have so many lights here, it's not even funny, guys. Let's see. Can you see that? It's a little dark now. Yeah, I just don't want to see the glare. And I have a little bit of a stuffy nose, but that's the uh, my life usually, guys. I always have a stuffy nose here in Texas. Okay, so we're going to start with the number sign. And the number sign is number 28, which is this color. And this is 3777. Very pretty color. See that? Okay. And sometimes this does hurt my finger and I don't have a nail. So I use, I use this. This is from Creative Memories. See that? It's easy. It's a handy dandy tool. That's what I call it. Okay. And that's an old, old tool. I use it for scrapbooking. Okay, so shaky, shaky. Um, so what are we going to talk about today? This is why I don't really do these whipping chats, guys, because sometimes I feel like, like I have nothing going on. You know, it's like, okay, so what do I talk about? So I figure I talk about, I usually talk about my family, and my friends. But today, well, we'll do a little bit of that, but we're also going to do, uh, talk about, um, I already told you my goal. My goal is to try to do two paintings a month. And uh, and then, of course, let's talk about what's going on in the year. Well, I don't know all the events, but I know some. Like, uh, there's one that's called, and this one's going to be for the whole year. And this one is hashtag year of the whips 2023. And this one is, uh, the host is Maritza and, uh, and Vivian. And Vivian, I believe, is the co-host. I'm not sure. But they're working together. And so basically, I'll be, I'll be, of course, using this one. It's basically whatever you're working on and any whip that you have that you're working on. So I'm gonna, I, I put this one. This is going to be my whip number one. So you basically take a picture. You post it on their Facebook group. And you put whip number one. And I believe that when you finish with it, then you let them, you know, you put, you put the picture up and you go done with number one because you finished it. And then you can do work on the other one. A lot of people are basically working more than one, but I'm just going to try to do two. Like I said, I'll work on a big one and a little one because then I get crazy and I have, I am busy. I gotta, I gotta take care of my mom. She lives here with me. So it gets busy guys. And, uh, so yeah, that sounds exciting. The good thing about it, it's like all year, but guys, guess what? Oh yeah, yeah. They uh, asked me if I could, if I wanted to be a moderator and I said, sure. But I said, but you guys got to tell me what I have to do. I've never been a moderator. So I'm a little nervous about that, but they basically said that all I have to do is, uh, you know, when they do their lives, just try to keep the trolls out. So got to figure that out because I am completely computer illiterate. So I don't know. Let's see. I'll try my best guys. No guarantees. Okay. And then the other thing, oops, this went off my phone. The other thing is another event is the hashtag DP big butts 23. And I believe that one's by diamond grandma and pencil surprises, Sharon. I think, I think it's with, uh, Sharon and Diamond Grandma. And that one, uh, I actually ordered a, um, a painting, but it hasn't arrived. So it's running late. So I'm hoping that it arrives soon so I can begin that. And, uh, so that should be fun too. And that is, I believe, just for the month of January. I think every month they have a different one going on <clears throat> and then what else and then another event that I I actually joined I believe last year 
maybe two years ago, I can't remember anything anymore. Um, and these are <laughs> fun ladies, guys. It is, um, it's called hashtag blinging in the new year 2023. And it's by three beautiful ladies. Uh, it's from Tina Timo from DP with Sparklers, Tia from Tia's Crazy Craft Addi Addiction, and Jen uh, or Jennifer from DP Addiction Adventures. So basically, I think, because I remember I did it with the, with the Lighthouse from Dreamer Design. Um, you just basically work on any painting and, and you bling it. So that's why it's called Blinging in the New Year. So that's actually an adventure because a lot of us are afraid to add any bling. Like I'm working on this one and I noticed that it has already ABs on the flowers. But I feel like I want to add more ABs, more of the flowers. But I say, eh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Maybe on her eyelashes or her lips. I don't know. Give her some shiny lipstick. So I don't know. My friend is thinking of adding bling to the butterfly on her back. So I don't know. We'll have to, have to figure out what I'm going to bling out. If I decide to do that event. I don't know if, I'm, if you can hear me. On, uh, I, my husband got me this new iPad Air for Christmas. and. I don't know that the volume is not that great, but everything else is great. It was either that or the uh, GoPro. And I told my husband, I think I'm going to go for the GoPro. And he was like, but honey, the GoPro is for, <laughs> you know, it's good. It's good for if you go swimming or uh, biking, roller skating, rollerblading, uh, rock climbing. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. You do lots of activities and I do none of those. I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to ride a bike. And so I was like, okay, maybe I should think about that. Maybe not a GoPro. Maybe I should just stick to the iPad Air. And I love, love, love my iPads, guys. And they last forever. And usually I just give the, uh, I pass it down to my family. Like my husband has one. And, but right now, I'm thinking that I'm going to keep the old one up here. That way, uh, one is upstairs and one is downstairs. I don't think it's good for you to con continually unplug it and plug it. It just ruins the, uh, the plug or the charger, the cable. Because you don't know how many charger cables I have to buy. Because uh, they go bad. They break. And do it. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, what else? So yes, so those are so far and I would love to do a, uh, you know, like stop buying and, uh, and work on the paintings that I already have. I don't know, guys, that is really, really hard. Yep. So maybe next year I can do that. Maybe we will see. And, uh, okay. So what else for Christmas? We actually... On Christmas Eve, we went to my sister's house. They cooked dinner. Well, her husband did. And um, it was very nice. We spent it there. Then we came home. And then Christmas Day, it was just relaxing. Very, very relaxed. We had opened the gifts because we couldn't wait. So we actually opened the gifts on Christmas Eve. Yep. We usually don't do that. We usually just open them on Christmas Day and have uh, like, uh, you know, pancakes for uh, like a late brunch, but this year we were like, nah, I think we're going to do that next day. The next day we'll just relax and take it easy. So that worked out. I still have my tree up. We don't put it away until the 6th of January. And uh, so that'll be, I think, this Saturday. That's when we put the stuff away. And it shouldn't be bad because it's just the tree up, like I said, and we did not put any decorations. So it should be easy to put it away. We used to buy a real Christmas tree. Uh, back then but when we first moved here we have wood floors and we were basically watering the uh, Christmas tree not realizing that it was the, the there was something there must have been a leak or something but um, the water was basically it was going on the floor and it was the it went through basically the wood was absorbing absorbing the uh, the water so when we went to remove the tree the floor the wooden floor was completely ruined and we had to do that whole piece over and it was not cheap, guys. It's expensive to replace wood floors. So we figured, nope, for now on, 
it's going to be a fake tree. So that's what we do. A fake tree. So it's fine. Um, what else? That's about it, guys. I have no idea. I do have, I always try to do like, a, it's already been 15 minutes. It's incredible how fast it goes. Um, I always try to do like a little happy news. So I went on, went on my phone and I Googled happy news, something that happen, happened recently. So let me, let me see if I can read it. It says, uh, a Texas woman was kidnapped 51 years ago and, and is reunited with family through DNA testing. Yep. Isn't that great guys? So, um, uh, Melissa, that was her name. When she was 20, 22 months old, uh, a babysitter allegedly kidnapped her. And it so happens that, uh, and this happened in Fort Worth. Okay. So she was allegedly kidnapped from her parents' Fort Worth apartment in August of 1971. Um, the mother was a working waitress and she needed someone to take care of her daughter. So she basically decided to place an ad in the newspaper, in the local newspaper, in order to find childcare for her daughter. And of course, someone responded. And so she met this lady and this woman allegedly took her daughter and never returned. Uh, so that's why you have to be careful, guys. Anyway, um, the mother and the family, the members, spent the next five decades. Can you imagine? Oh my God, how scary that is. Like, that's like a nightmare. They spent many, many years. They never gave up looking for their daughter and um and then one day um and even before that the mother the grieving mother was she was faced with accusations from the local uh, law enforcement who suspected her of murdering her missing daughter so you know how that is right anyway so so after rec after time went by after recommendation from a genealogist doing a dollar sign it's a dollar sign yeah sometimes i forget guys um after recommendation from a genealogist the family decided to use the home dna testing kit which is the ancestry they use and they also use the 23 and me and um so it so it so happens that it actually worked a promising dna match turned up on the 23 and me. So the parents provided their own DNA samples and within three weeks, they were reunited with their long lost daughter who is now 53 years old. Can you imagine the last time they saw her, she was 22 months old and now she's 53. Is that wonderful? I mean, they finally found their daughter. Um, they, they, they couldn't believe it. They were like, of course, they were so overjoyed. They couldn't stop crying. So they, it was like a Christmas miracle. They finally got to see their daughter and reunite with their daughter. And um, so they say that finding Melissa was purely because of the DNA, not because of any police or FBI involvement. And... Uh, and that's it. It's a DNA wins the search. So isn't that just wonderful, wonderful news? Can you imagine? And that was during Christmas time. So that's like a Christmas miracle. You get to see your beautiful daughter again and reunite. So that's the story I wanted to share. So I will continue working on this. I try not to do these whips uh, more than 20 minutes. Uh, so my goal is to, uh, uh, obviously, I'm trying to finish... Each of these squares, one per night or one per day. But maybe I'll do two today. Let's see. Depends. If you, you know, if my thing is I say, okay, I'll work on this in the morning and then I'll work on this one in the, in the evening. But then things happen in the morning. You got to do this. You got to do that. I got to wash clothes. I got to do that. I got to go to the store. I got to meet my friends for lunch. 
blah 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 which uh, by the way I just had lunch with my dear friend Dorothy and it was wonderful uh but as you can see you know that happens and then you end up only working on one so anyway so that's about it for today guys I hope you all had a wonderful wonderful Christmas and a wonderful new year's and i can you believe it's already 2023 i can't believe it but it is 2023 so anyway so that's about it guys so thank you very much for listening to me to my shenanigans i always have something funny but i don't know i don't think i had any funny today but anyway thank you guys and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day bye bye <laughs>